the wind, the wind, the wind of life, the wind, the wind, the wind of life, the wind, the wind, the wind of life. Small in my eyes, I have believed in a lie that you were unable to help. Forgive me and show yourself strong. Forgive me and show yourself strong. Thank God you are here. In fact, I'm just thinking of dialing your number because I have a message for you. Wow. <laughs> Please, have your seat. Sir, I was at the neighborhood and I just decided to stop by and say hello to you, sir. <laughs> that is very thoughtful of you. You see, that's why I always like your company. <laughs> the Dowsy executive asked me to give you this token. He said, in appreciation for your service and your commitment at the Dowsy's Youth Fellowship for the past five years. Ah, ah. Sir, but who am I? I am just an ordinary pencil in the hands of God our Creator. And He can use us the way He wants. Uh, that is true. But you know what? It is very important that we celebrate good stewardship to serve as encouragement for the weary ones. <laughs> uh, sir, yes. I would like to take my leave. Oh, very yes, fast. Sir. Yes, sir. Okay, no problem. Yes, Please greet your family for me. All right, sir. It is well with you. Amen, sir. Thank you very much. All right, sir. Debtor, come out, oh. Mr. and Mrs. Debtor, come out. Hey, don't share it in the Chef Jamie Rooney, you want to bring down my shop? Please, Mrs. Adubi. And you know what we are sharing your bed. <laughs> we shall surely pay up our debts. Just the patient to tell us a little more. I know that is what you will say. Mm. That has been your chorus for long. Mm. Eh? You are such a pauper. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Mrs. Adubi, please. We know that you have really tried for us. We shall surely pay up our debt very soon. Please, what exactly is it? If that teaching job that you are doing does not pay, find something else to do. Wretched couple. the matter? Is it because of what that man said to us? Dear, God has not forgotten us. He shall surely stand for us. I branched at Pastor's place and he gave me this brand envelope. He said the houses asked him to give it to me. For my sacrifice, in the youth fellowship of our thousands. For the past five years, imagine. Ordinary Bible. Ordinary Bible. Hmm. Hey, 
excuse me, sir. Please. Um. Oluwari Joseph. Kaiyeshi. Oluwari Joseph. Kaiyeshi Bensi. Oluwari Joseph. Wow. <laughs> it's been a long time. I've been looking for you over 20 years now. Where have you been? I don't even need to ask. How is life again? Huh? It is well written all over you. We thank God. Huh? We thank God. We thank God. This is one of my official cars. It is very, very small compared to my own personal car. And I've been posted to this environment. And I'm looking for one of my staff living in this estate. And why are you like this? Don't you have a job? Hmm. I'm actually working with state teaching service as a subject teacher. My friend, we suffered a lot when we were in school. Hmm. But we are meant to enjoy. Um, thank God, there is a vacancy in my office. Hold on, let me get to my complimentary card. All right. Um, my friend, this is my complimentary card. Just call me, okay? Please, make sure you call me. Okay. Ah, ah, okay. I will try to call you. Olu Ole Joseph. Ah. Taye Shibensi. Olu Ole Joseph. Taye Shibensi. Ah. Yes. You are home with Olu Ole Joseph. May I know you, please? All right. All right. You are welcome, sir. I will send the email address to you. Then you forward the details of the invitation. And I shall get back to you. God bless you, sir. You are welcome, dear. Why did you come home with Adedibura? She ought to be in school by now. Yes, that's true. I was sent home from school because of my school fee. That's why I branched from this show. Actually, the three weeks ultimatum given to us to balance our school fees as a lot. Jesus Christ. Mm. Dear, please don't disturb yourself. I'm sure God will provide for us very soon. Let's go and prepare for midweek service. Mm. I want you to reconsider your decision. Remember you told me before our marriage that the Lord told you to pick up teaching because of the nature of ministerial assignment he gave to you. Truly, the challenges we are facing might tempt one to make costly decisions. But don't forget Romans 8, 35 to 37. Who then can separate us from the love of Christ? Can trouble do it, or hardship, or persecution, or hunger, or poverty, or danger, or death? As the scripture says, for your sake we are in danger of death at all times. We are treated like sheep that are going to be slaughtered. No, in all these things, we have complete victory through him who loves us. I want you to reconsider very well, please.
Throw Luoli. I told your him is to cross that river to the other side. Why are you turning back? Truly, my aim is to cross the river to the other side. But I can't bear it any longer. The wave of this river is affecting me. Ah. I'm quitting. Bro, Luoli, don't forget. There's no one that plays his hand on the plow. And look back. That is sweet for the kingdom use again. Pastor. Please, enjoy it. Pastor. I've been enjoying it for long. At this juncture, I'm turning back. Ah. Bro, Luoli. Bro, Luoli. Bro, Luoli. Please, come back. Bro, Luoli. That's how the revelation goes. All my efforts to convince your husband was futile. I decided to come to your house. When I could not reach him, please. Sir. The trance is a clear picture of what is going on in our home. What? It's five days now that my husband had gone to start work in a strange company introduced to him by one of his old friends. All my efforts to stop him was abortive. But sir, uh, with all our sacrifice and dedication for the kingdom, why is it that the storm of shame Lack and reproach is dragging us. The presence of Jesus Christ in the boat with the disciple doesn't mean that won't be a storm. Storm will surely rise against any Christian that is ready to follow Jesus Christ. But focusing and allowing him in such life will not allow the storm to bring him down. Please, Pastor. Don't leave us alone. We need your prayers. The raging storm is taking my husband away. My sister, don't worry. I will surely raise a prayer altar. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. I don't escape. Oh, the officer don't approach me. I don't the officer don't do that. Yes, come in. Madam. Yeah. We also are from NDA the office. Okay. My husband, what happened? We have the warrant to search your house. We discover your husband works with the drug dealers. Daddy Ura. So officer, search everywhere. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. Not implicating in this house. Hello, Pastor. Good afternoon, sir. Are you sir. sure? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, my yes, husband sir. has been arrested by the NJL officer. Yeah, they said yes, he works sir. with drug dealers. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So, sir. Easy. Alpha. Hope he has confessed. No, sir. Mr. Man, why are you punishing yourself? See, the rest have confessed. They say you are the 
strategic planner. No, sir. They just employed me. I didn't know they are dealing with me. Shut up! By the time you are tortured very well, you will talk. Officer, yes, take yes, care sir. of him. All right, sir. Okay. Rescue my husband. Rescue my family as well. God, I depend on you. God, I trust in you. Rescue my husband, oh God. Lord, rescue my family. Lord. The wind. The wind. The wind. Hey, you have to be very fast. You have to be very fast. I'm giving you this opportunity because you are colleagues. Eh? Thank you, Officer Ben. All right. I will be very brief. Mr. Oluwoli. Yes, sir. I'm so surprised yesterday to see you with those drugs dealers. I know you to be an evangelist. So, how come you are dealing with drugs? <laughs> Officer Kevin. I started working with them a week ago. I never knew they deal with hard drugs. That is serious. Oh. Oh. Well, I will try my best possible. Let's leave everything to God's hands. Oh. Officer Ben. Oh. Yes. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. Alpha. I'm fine, Officer Ben. Officer Ben, with the level of my interrogation with Mr. Oluwole, I think there is more to this case. I suggest I meet with one of those suspects. But why are you so interested in this case? Guy, you are not the IP of this case. Don't worry about that one. All right. Madam, I want to help you out of here. Oh, don't you want to live here? Ah, I will be grateful. You can do that for me. If I'm going to help you out, you have to answer some questions. What question is that? Who is Mr. Oluwole? Uh, actually, Mr. Oluwole is a new staff in our midst. He just got delayed into the company by the manager, who happens to be his friend. The manager told us how Mr. Oluwole had been clever and smart in those days when they were in school. Though he has not taken part in any of our dealings before we were arrested. So why do you people initially implicate him when you know all this? No problem. Court will decide. Ha! Huh? Court will decide. Hey, yeah? He said you should sit down. Sir, I'm deeply sorry. I've made a great mistake. I've allowed the stormy wind to take me away from the center of his purpose for my life. I was only trying to find solution to my financial problem. I never knew the company was dealing with illegal drugs. <laughs> so, he said, Come, and when Peter had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw that the wind was boisterous, he was afraid and beginning to sink. He cried out, say, Lord, save me. Matthew chapter 14, verse 29 to 30. Mm. Whenever stormy wind arises, 
Christians need to focus their eyes on Jesus who has power over storm. Many see the stormy winds of their life more than Jesus Christ whom they claim to follow. As soon as Peter put his focus on the winds, he lose his focus from Jesus Christ. Fear sets in. He begins to sink. It takes God's intervention through Edda Samuel's younger brother who works at the NDLA office where you are detained. Who investigated and found out that you have not taken part in any of their drug dealings mm. to secure your bail. Mm. What? Mm. Pray that the judge spares you mm. when we get to the court. But comes to think of it, bro, Lu Ole, yes, sir. the gifts the Dowsies gave to you, does it mean you don't open it? Gift? Yes. You mean the Bible? Yes. The Bible. Ah. Adedura, go and bring the big Bible on the shelf. Sir, since we have many Bibles in our house, I, I just drop it in the room. Yes. This is the Bible. This Bible. Jesus Christ. Two million naira. Two million naira. Two million naira. Jesus Christ. Ah. Ah. God impresses it in the act of Dowsie's executive to assist you with that token in appreciation of your contribution in our Dowsie's with a directive to make it a surprise not knowing that God wanted to test your faith. Jesus! Ah, God! I have made you too small in my eyes. Oh Lord, forgive me. Give me 